Uh, Walter, Stella, and then also Daisy to answer any questions you may have. So please, um, who wants to go first? I guess we do one that's on the floor. But this is not a classroom, so you don't need to um, whenever we've had these uh, smart devices, uh, one of the questions that has to get asked, so I'll, I'll, I'll do it, is uh, security and just uh, privacy things. You've got a camera going around someone's house. Um, what what if, um, security features you've got in place to stop it being hacked and used to stalk people? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, first, a very good question. Every time I will be asked this question, so I will make it simple. So I know the concerns there is uh, some cameras to do the AI help to us to do some obstacle avoidance. It is very useful. Uh, people were worry about it. Uh, first, uh, we follow the highest uh, industry level. We get some certifications uh, uh, from TUV, uh, a Germany, very famous Germany third party test. They gave us a certification to sh make sure it is an ITO safety based on the EN3036. <laughs> 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 that's a very <laughs> professional <laughs> industry level. This is the first. But we know even the industry levels should be the bottom line. So we do a lot of the designs to do uh, to make sure it is safety. Just for example, if you want to share the machine to other, uh, other people, you could select not share the other function with the camera. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to make sure that all the machines, uh, the camera's function was turned off when you buy it. You need to manually turn on it by push some buttons on the machine to make sure. And when it works, they will have some of the function to remind you that it is working. And, uh, we follow some of the, the European standards like uh, GDPD, uh, mm -hmm. GDPR. GDPR. You have the right to ask us to remove all the, how say, the sensitive data if you want. Mm -hmm. So uh, currently, I cannot say the nothing is one hundred percent safe, but we have do our best to reach the highest level in our industry to make sure we pro uh, protect the privacy mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yes. Um, what's the uh, warranty that comes with the L20 Ultra? And also, how do you manage support and service for Australian customers? Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we, we're very confident in our products. So we are offering our customers three year local manufacturer's warranty. Uh, we have a dedicated service center out in the inner Western Sydney. Um, we do have um, our email, live chat, phone support where customers can call in, um, lodge a request to get their units assessed where, and we'll send up a postage table covering to our service centers, getting assessed, repaired service whatsoever and delivering it back to the customer. So I think with three years we're, we're the highest local manufacturing warranty in the market. Yeah. Awesome. Any other questions? I'm not going to use the microphone because I have a belting voice. Um, or do we want to see no, the dog I'm, again? I've got a question. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. That's all right. Uh, Alex from Tech Advice Life. So uh, with the, uh, the robotic dog which we saw before, uh, when should that be coming to Australia? And then with the, uh, you know, the L20, uh, I could see that you could actually use it to communicate with people. Mm -hmm. So does it reco uh, have recordings that are saved to the cloud, like an Arlo security camera? Mm -hmm. And um, does it have like a security function mode where it can be a, a sentry and it can check out what's happening in your home? Or is it just intelligent vacuum cleaning only? Okay, good questions. And you should be a very good product manager. <laughs> we, have, we have already gave this function because this launch event, we focus about the core function about how it could clean the room. And if you open the, our video, real time video, you could see it is just like a, how say the, the um, camera. But is a, it is a, just a camera could work around. Currently, we provide some of those functions like it will go to how say the schedules, mm -hmm. uh, checking to the different room, and it is because it's just like a cell phone or computer. We will do some upgraded 
for the function in the future. Just for example, uh, old man fall down mm -hmm. on the ground, uh, the machines see it and uh, will recognize these situations by AI. It will send a message to maybe the children's yeah. cell phone to yeah. help the people. Or something bad, uh, some people broke the window and come into the house, the Mac will detect the window breaking the noise and go there to see what happened. And you could uh, record uh, something to say, hey, you are, I'm watching yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> something like it. But currently, we put the focus on the uh, cleaning functions and uh, just add some basic uh, monitoring function of it. But in the future, because it is our flagship, we will upgrade it very frequently in the future to add more functions related to the pets, all the people, mm -hmm. uh, safety, something like it. And, and with the dis distribution of the robot dog into Australia? Uh, so uh, actually our robot dog will be officially released next year globally. So. We are still seeing if there's any opportunities in Australia together with our partners to see if there truly the market is. And we are more than happy to bring the dog into Australia market. Thank you. Awesome. Any other questions? I'll do one more. Yep. I, I, I always feel embarrassed and pure while asking this, but it's, it is actually a concern because uh, the stories of this go viral all the time. Um, and you, you're senior enough to actually know how this would happen. but. A big issue with these robot vacuums in, since they've come out is um, the puppy factor. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think I need to say anymore. Um, but what do you have any kind of like um, sensors or whatever to go right? Um, I've detected some anomaly that's come out of a small animal. I'm not going near it rather than spreading it around the entire house. Ah, oh, very smelly <laughs> <laughs> question. Okay, uh, simple answer, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, in these uh, machines, uh, if you use applications, we use, uh, there is a, a mode called a pet mode. In this pet mode, if, if, you, if you turn on the pet mode, we will add the AI functions to detect the dog so, as an engineer background, I was not guaranteed the 100%. There is no 100%, but I could say the 99% it will avoid to touch it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at the interface of the, the, uh, our app application, there is an icon to show there is a Hockey, yeah, on there, on there. So you could uh, get the message and uh, help to clean it. And uh, if uh, one percent, the best thing happened. We we have the functions to report these functions, and we will put these uh, data into our database. We will do the machine learning to continue to upgrade the, the machine. So this is a long term to avoid these situations. We cannot educate our dog, but we <laughs> could upgrade our machine. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, good answer. And uh, I wanted to ask about the uh, humanoid robot that you had on display. We've seen Tesla and their Optimus robot doing some advanced, or maybe very simple, but doing some sorting. And uh, obviously, there's a race on to. Uh, create some sort of a humanoid robot that could actually be useful and help you know, older people and do chores around the house, it's probably still some years away, but how long before your humanoid robot might actually come to the market? How many years? This decade? Next decade? That's the most difficult question <laughs> I need to answer. Uh, I look forward, within 10 years, we could make it uh, everywhere. 10 years, 10 years. But we will do it uh, gradually, one step by step. So the, uh, the next year, the 2024 CES, we will show and uh, publish this uh, hu human drone uh, robotic uh, in US, mm -hmm. which means we have the, the basic function to demo some of the uh, functions. 
in China we have demo the function it could do the how say the prepare some of the coffee yeah, mm. the for, the, for yeah. the people so I know Tesla is very strong but we do by the different way Tesla focus on some of the how say the uh, industry manufacturing things because they want to use this robotic to, instead of the people working at the factory to produce the cars we come from the, the how say the, the indoor cleaning jobs so we focus about how this uh, robotic could live with the people at home maybe at in the office to collaborate with um, some other people to help them to do it i think our target should be almost the same to let the robotic uh, well but our how say the, the strategy is from the uh, indoor at the very beginning mm -hmm. and uh, I think this question should leave to Elon Musk and Miss Yu together yeah. they should work hard <laughs> and push us to make this dream uh, come true yeah. so any chance of a dreamy car in 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> oh you're a very good question provider uh, for me I don't call it a car I call it automatically moving the robotic. Mm -hmm. Because if we think it is a car, I cannot beat a Toyota something traditional uh, factories. Mm -hmm. So we think from the different way, we think it is a robotic. Mm -hmm. So we internally, uh, can I say it internally, we have some the, the secret team to develop some, <laughs> <laughs> something, <laughs> but it will come true, it will come true. Yeah. Maybe sometimes we will ask Australian media to visit yeah. our factory to understand Ooh. how we develop and uh, manufacturing, so do some research on it. Mm -hmm. At that place, maybe it's a sign some uh, NDA, <laughs> DNA, something that you could say a lot of the interesting things. Yeah. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, thank you. Well, thank you everyone so much for um, an awesome launch. Um, really appreciated having you all in the room. It's been lovely to catch up and have a good chat with you all. Um, please feel free to stay around. There's still some food floating around. There's still a few drinks and things. Um, and please feel free to come up, play with the dog, see the robot back to me again, um, and just have a good time. Uh, thank you so much.